So in this video, what we're looking at is finding the area enclosed by r equals sine of 4 theta, where r is positive. Now, we should, when we looked at Rodinil, Rose curves, uh, we looked at uh, r equals cosine of 4 theta, for example. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it was exactly that one, but uh, something similar to that. And um, we found that when the multiplier, the coefficient of theta, is even, that means that you had two lots of that number, so two n lots of petals as you go around. So actually, this one is also a rose curve and will have eight petals. Now that's including uh, values when r is positive and when r is negative. Now half of those will be when r is positive, half will be when r is negative. So actually when we are focusing on r is greater than zero here, that means that there are only four petals that we need to consider. So let's just uh, take note of that, so four petals. So the idea here will be if I can work out the area of one of those petals, I can multiply it by four to get the total area required because of the symmetry. So, the next thing is I need to know what to integrate between to get one of the petals. So, if I'm going to do a quick sketch of sine of 4 theta, where theta is on the horizontal axis and r is on the vertical axis, then this is going to be a quarter of it between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so that means that this is going to be pi over 2, and that's going to be pi over 4. So r is positive here, between 0 and pi over 4. That will be my first petal. So what I'm looking for is 4 lots of 1 half times the integral between 0 and pi over 4 of r squared, so sine squared 4 theta d theta. This is the integral I want to consider. Now, in order to integrate sine squared, we're going to have to use our double angle formula. So cosine of 2 theta was equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Now, if we're working with sine squared of 4 theta, if this is 4 theta, then that's got to be 8 theta. So cosine of 8 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared 4 theta. So by rearranging, the sine squared 4 theta must be equal to, so I'm going to add that to both sides, subtract the cosine 8 theta from both sides, divide through by 2, so we'd have 1 half of 1 take away cosine 8 theta. So we have 4 lots of 1 half, so 2 lots of the integral between 0 and pi over 4 of 1 half 1 minus cosine 8 theta, d theta. Now I can bring the half out, that'll knock out the 2 that's there, and I'll just be integrating the 1 minus cosine 8 theta, which integrates to theta, and then take away, so cosine 8 theta integrates to 1 eighth sine 8 theta, evaluated between 0 and pi over 4. Okay. So now I've got to start substituting in. So I substitute the pi over 4. I'm going to get pi over 4. Take away. So we have 1 eighth times, times sine of 8 times pi over 4. And that gets me 0. And then substituting the 0, we get 0 and 0. So pi over 4 is the answer I'm looking for, okay? So that is the area enclosed by this curve when r is positive, and that includes all four petals.